Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Aki. I am going to have a short explanation about our problem solving with kinetic energy. So we have learned that the kinetic energy equation is equal to Ke is one half mv squared, where you know the m is mass of the object. And then V is the velocity of the object. Usually we look at the speed. This is the velocity without the direction of the motion of the object. So the two right there is squaring the speed. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first problem. For example, you're asked, what is the kinetic energy of a 45 kilogram object moving at 13 meters per second? So if you have a problem, it is good to always read it over and over again so you know what you are given and what you are asked. So what I just read, uh, what is the kinetic energy of a 45 kilogram object? So we can just go ahead and write the one down. 45 kilogram object. The unit is telling us that that is the mass of the object. And then it is moving at 13 meters per second. I'm going to write down 13 meters per per second and we know that that will be the velocity of the object now what is asked is to find the kinetic energy so now you know what you're given and what you're asked and you have an equation so you can just easily go ahead and use the equation and substitute that um, those values right there so let's go ahead and um, do that together so ke is equal to one half um, your m is 45 so you have 45 kilogram and then you have your v which is 13 so you will have 13.0 meters per second but you have to remember that you have to square it meaning you have to multiply this um, by itself so you have 13 times 13 right here which will give you if you go ahead and go get your calculator that will give you 100 um, 69 so that's 169 right there uh, we are going to go ahead and move to our next um, breaking down solving using our equation so one half times um, 45 when you are solving a problem it's always good to keep the units when you go into your high school physics um, you, it will be required to show this unit here so we square already the 13 that will give you 169 we're going to input that one and you also square the units uh, 169 meters squared uh, second squared so moving on if you have your calculators you can go ahead and do this you can pause this video and uh, verify the answer so i will keep the one half right here and if i multiply 45 times 169 using a calculator that will give you 7605 i will copy down the units kilogram meter squared over second squared now it is very important like i said when you follow through and keep writing the units because now you will see that this unit right here is actually equivalent to joules which is the unit of energy so let's continue one half seven thousand six hundred five um, divided by two because we need half of that one will give us 3,802.5 joules. So for the problem, what is the kinetic energy of a 45 kilogram object moving at 13 meters per second is the kinetic energy is equal to 3,802 joules. So your final answer should always have the unit of the quantity that you are solving. So that's it. Thank you.